Hello, good evening and welcome to Hot Issues. We're on live every Tuesday and Thursday from 9.30 p.m. till 10. Tonight we have a very distinguished guest who is also an entrepreneur of many sorts. A man who promised many things but gets to lead the Greater Accra Regional uh, NPP. He's tried three attempts to lead the Sege constituency into parliament but he couldn't materialize it, even though the records show that he was able to rake in a lot of votes, both on the presidential and parliamentary fronts. Tonight, my guest in studio is Divine Otu Agohom. He is the regional chairman of the New Patriotic Party. And as we get straight into uh, getting ready for the key primaries to elect some 165 parliamentary candidates for the MPP, we'll ask him how he's kept the region closely together and how his achievements have panned out. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome to Hot Issues. Yeah, you're welcome. How's the region under you doing? Well, by the grace of God, we are fine. Um, we were elected into office on the 21st of April, mm. 2018. Uh, myself and uh, my executive as a team, we came together mm. um, to, you know, understand, first of all, what's happening in the region before mm -hmm our election, we put ourselves together to, you know, uh, plan carefully what we're going to do mm -hmm. as we speak now. You know, we inherited 21 seats mm -hmm. um, and uh, <coughs> it is our responsibility to uh, protect that one mm -hmm. and possibly go fight and get more mm -hmm. in addition. Yeah, we started by, uh, you know, visiting the constituencies to ensure that uh, we have everybody appreciating what mm. our vision is and uh, getting them to give us the needed support. Mm. Uh, we also try to, you know, uh, draw a good balance between government, because mm. now you know we are in government, mm. between government and then the party. Right. Uh, How's that on doing? a program that mm. we did, uh, Operation Touch Base. Mm. So uh, we did that one, and uh, uh, by that means we were able to you know, bring the uh, relationship between party and government to a situation where we are quite happy with it. Right. Uh, now, as we speak, um, we are getting ourselves ready for mm. the uh, parliamentary Parliament. primaries, right. which will be coming on this Saturday. Mm. So, so far, it's looking quite good. We've gone through uh, opening of nomination, mm. we've done the uh, filing, we've done vetting, mm. appeals, mm. we've been to NEC, and NEC has given endorsement as to those who are going to go. So now as we speak, we have, you know, uh, aspirants that are ready mm. to sort themselves out on these uh, Saturday. Three things come to mind immediately of the things that you promised. You promised uh, unified leadership, a unified yeah. front, trying to bring everybody on, uh, stakeholders to achieve victory. Um, you want to get more than 21 seats out of the 34 that are in Great Accra. And you also are talking about a shared and open leadership. Exactly. If I ask you to rate yourself, on a scale of zero to 100, how do you say you've performed? <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I will say currently I'll put myself um, around 60, 65. What did you do to yes, put you there? Uh, we have been able, you know, this is Greater Accra. All the other regions take their feet from, from this mm. region. Mm. Um, mm. We are just about uh, going for primaries. And you agree with me that mm. the region has been very quiet. All right. Um, it isn't that there are no problems, but it's because we've been able as leaders and managers of the party in mm -hmm. the region to kind of engage uh, all the necessary stakeholders mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, avail themselves for us to address the issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been able to uh, get their cooperation so far. So mm -hmm. you can see the region is, is, is quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, and uh, we will also credit ourselves uh, for the fact that we inherited some constituencies where they were having challenges, mm. their mm. constituency mm. elections were not done in a way that, you know, created a peaceful uh, environment mm. for party activities. We've been able to address all those ones. Um, and as we speak now, um, I, I think that the regional front is well united. We've been able to co-opt all are you saying there's no problem in the Greater Accra region as far as you're I, concerned? I, I can't say there is no problem. Okay. But there is no problem beyond our, our, our ability to solve. That means that there are petty squabbles. 
yeah, that we are working on. Okay. And that is why you see that uh, the region is quite peaceful okay. as we go into the elections. You, you won by some seven votes against Mr. Boy. The, yes. the, most of the MPs didn't support your bid. Now, somebody will be thinking, maybe it's payback time. Is it payback time? As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing like uh, payback in, in politics. Mm. It so happens that, yes, uh, some of them came up openly to say that uh, they, were not support me, they were not supporting me. But to me, that's okay. Were you hurt? Uh, no, no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. That rather challenged me to work harder and then to pray more. Mm. Of course, I'm a man of prayer. Right. So I think that uh, that's the way God wants it to be. Mm. And at the end of the day, I emerge the, the winner. Uh, the challenge <laughs> then was for me to uh, bring all these people back on board because we need each and every one right. to be able to prosecute these, you know, uh, agenda. Mm. And so uh, that has been quite a difficult task, I must mm. admit, because some of them had us to try to, you know, pull them uh, to the fore. The trust wasn't there, you know. But Be I think because that of what they themselves exactly, had said exactly, previously. Exactly. But it's been three years now. It's been two years. It's been two years. Yes. Yeah. And but now it's, it's, now it's it's okay. <laughs> now it's okay. We we are we are very fine. We are working together. Mm. Uh, most of those who even said openly they were not supporting me, mm. it will be of interest to you to know that they are rather the ones who are helping me now more than those who you know were not uh, that outspoken. So, what did you tell them to support you? Yeah, is first of all to assure them that mm. uh, that stage is past and gone. Okay. Um, I am even happy to uh, be here now as a result of that fierce contest that uh, we had. Mm. So once we are done with it, uh, I have the challenge to you know unite the the party. Mm. And if by the grace of God, this is how we are seeing Greater mm. Christ, it tells you what. Uh, we've been able to do, i.e. bringing everybody mm. on board. So now with the MPs, uh, in fact, we, 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 we are working together. So you have That's, 21 seats. Yes. You are looking at 34 seats in total. Mm. How many are you hoping to, to claim? Well, first of all, uh, traditionally, there are some seats that um, we can't say are uh, the MPP's seats traditionally. There are seats that, you know, has been swinging to mm. NDC, MPP, that mm. kind of thing. Uh, we have about seven or so of such seats in the region. Mm. And so, therefore, the first task is mm. to ensure that you keep your grip firmly on mm. those seats. Mm. Because uh, they were, once upon a time, seats with the mm. NDC. And so, therefore, the NDC will also be trying to come back right. and chase those seats. But you have not so told me how many numbers are you are getting. Say there are again. 34 seats in Accra. You have 21. How many are you getting? Yes. So I want to what promise are you making, Mr. That Chairman? First of all, mm. Additionally, well, we are targeting about uh, four more seats. Okay. Four hopefully. more. To make yeah. 25. Yeah, but that would mean that you need to ensure that you maintain the seats that you were having okay. you know, before, before but now. You, you have you an know? advantage. You went on to do... Uh, for primaries for your constituencies that you called orphan constituencies. Yes. And now you're going to the primaries in areas where you have seats. Mm. So you have a plan, really, yes. I mean, if you ask me. Yes, yes. And, but and that you is don't the trust that, that plan is, to get you 25? Yes, that is the situation across the country. Mm. Almost every region is the same thing. We've all done our primaries in the orphan constituencies already. Mm. And when we say orphan constituencies, we are talking about constituencies where we don't have uh, sitting MPs, right. okay? The mm. parties don't have mm. sitting MPs. Yes, we've done that one. And now we are doing the constituencies where we have sitting MPs. Mm. It is the same in other regions as it is in uh, Accra. So that doesn't give us any extra advantage in okay. a sense. Okay. Except that uh, as we speak now, uh, to a large extent in the region, um, 21 seats, yes, mm. we should be doing primaries in 21 constituencies. Right. But because we've just done the Ayawaso West Wagon mm. uh, by, by elections, election. right. uh, National Council took a decision to allow the incumbent MP to go on a post. Something that's undemocratic. For oh. a party like MPP that touts itself as being very democratic. No, 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 Do you no, no. agree? No, 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 no. When you say democratic, I don't know what exactly you're talking you about. You didn't allow I'm the people to choose. You didn't allow uh, other contestants to stand with Madame Lydia. We, we, the, the party is, is, is working with 
a constitution that we all subscribe to. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, Article 12 of our party's constitution allows us to select candidates. Okay. Election is part of the selection. It's an option. Mm. Okay. So um, all this war, with the exception of, I think, one constraint in the history of the party where mm. we had parliamentary, uh, we had a... Uh, um, yes, Let, let's go ahead. Okay. Where you had, we had, we had uh, uh, candidates. We, we had, you mm. know, by election, and right. then after that, we came together to uh, mm. select select a, a candidate. A candidate. Uh -huh. Otherwise, um, that's been the practice. Mm. Uh, whenever we have by elections, we allow the MP to uh, mm. to complete. Uh, you know, constitutionally, mm -hmm. you are allowed four years. Mm. All right. And so in her case, mm. um, she got elected just last year. Right. And so she's not even done her one year yet. So you think so that it's, it's okay to give her a lot of chance? Exactly. That. So that she will be able to uh, prove herself as to what she's capable of doing. Mm. So um, it's, it's, it's within our constitutional mm. remit to allow her, okay, to do that. It's a but, decision but who, taken but, by... But, but, but for those, Mr. Chema, but for those who may have had an interest in that seat, for example, don't you think they will be pained at this point? No, 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 no. no, they, no they are no. not paying. No, no, no. You see, if we had handpicked her mm. for the by election, right. then I will understand where you are coming okay. from. But she went through the process. Uh, the process. Okay. She was contested by five other uh, aspirants, mm. and she beat them by far. Okay. And so therefore, that opportunity, that window was open mm. and it was closed. So right now, we are saying that, okay, let her finish this period. Mm. Then we will open again for the next uh, uh, election. And you that's think that's election. your best bet for... Yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. Politically. Some, something John Dumelo is strong. <laughs> Uh, is he? Uh, uh, can uh, he beat your candidate? When you, say, when you say he's strong, I mean, we are not, we are not acting concert here. I mean, this is uh, politics, parliamentary business. And so, therefore, I don't know why you say he's strong. Well, we know John Domalo is an actor okay. uh, when it comes to comedy. Mm. Um, yes, you can, you can rate him. But yeah, we are talking about politics. Mm. We are yet to see what he's made up of when it comes to politics. And so, you, let's leave that one as it is and then... Uh, Allow him also time to prove himself. You That's say he okay. should stick to acting and not come. I, I, I don't think I'm in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in the position to say but that. But you say he's but doing comedy. Well, and, of course, that, that's his profession. That's what we know him for. So okay. that's okay. When you say he's strong, I'm saying so because of what you said, that okay. he is strong. He's strong. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If it is to do with comedy, mm -hmm. if it is to do with acting, then you say, oh, he is strong. Mm -hmm. Then I will understand. I, but we are talking about politics. Mm -hmm. It's a new area. He's yet, you know, uh, mm -hmm. gotten himself... Uh, onto this arena, mm. and we need to allow him time to, to prove himself what, what he's capable mm. of doing. Well, we had Amma so, who was a hairdresser who, who went into parliament. If that argument holds, then uh, the hairdressers should stick with hairdressing. And no, they, I'm and saying that. No, 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 stick no, with no, no, no. I didn't say that. What I'm saying okay. is that mm. you said John Dumelo is strong. I said people think. People think. Yes. Okay, if people think. Now I'm saying that. Mm. They say he's strong. He's strong where? He's strong in politics or mm, what? Mm. I mean, this this era where, uh, this area where he's ventured to is politics. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And uh, we know him to be an actor. Okay. So if you are saying that he is strong as an actor, mm. then that one I will understand right. you. Right. Uh -huh. That's all I'm trying to say. That's, I'm not saying that actors experience. cannot do politics. Okay. I'm not saying that. Okay. Uh -huh. let, let you, I, I see you had, had an, a very impressive record at the Sege constituencies where you try to, to become an MP three times, and then later you left to become party chairman. You, you started at 3,000, then you rose to 10,000, then you rose to 11,000. Your contender at the time had 13,000. You were so close. Why did you give up? No, I'm not giving up. I'm still in there. Uh, no, why did you give up on the Sege seat? Because you started at 3,000, then you went to 10,000, then you went to 11,000 and over. You actually halved what you saw, what you met at 26,000. You halved it. And then you chickened out. Yeah. Uh, Why did you do that? Well, that's politics. My decision is to move to, you know, the region. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I did my best at Sege. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, there's time to get in. You can hold on for a time. Mm -hmm. There should be a time that, no, 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 let me move on now okay. and allow others. Now I'm the regional chairman. Mm -hmm. I'm in a better position mm -hmm. to help Sege win the seat okay mm. so i have not given up on sege i'm still 
you know, uh, a constituent okay. of the Sege constituency. Are you winning that seat this year? Oh, yes, by the grace of God. Are you sure? By the grace of God. Are you sure? By the grace of God. Okay. Yes, we will win. Yeah, so I was saying earlier mm. that, uh, so taking Ayawaso West Wagon out, mm. then it means that we are left with 20, 20. seats. So mm. we'll be having the primaries in 20 constituencies. Is there this peace Saturday. in Accra? Oh, yes, there in is. In your constituencies? There, there is, to a large extent. Unless there's something you know that I don't know, then you can well, tell you're me. Well, you are the chairman. So that's yes, as far peace. as I'm concerned, we have, uh, we have peace in, mm. in, in the party within, within the region. It's, it's looking good. You are an entrepreneur with uh, Standard Water mm. and a group of companies. How do you juggle the two? You must feed yourself, feed your family, those who work under you, and you must make a party run, a party in government that's been hit so hard by the NDC. How do you juggle the two? I have been uh, doing my own business since I was 21 years. Okay. So uh, that's almost about 30 something mm. as we speak now. Mm. Mm. Um, I've been able to structure the operations of my businesses in a way mm. that, you know, there are others who are helping me mm. to manage the, the business. Okay. Uh, as we speak now, that is still ongoing. Mm. Um, they, I have quite uh, committed, well experienced people that I so much trust mm. and uh, I, 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 I am convinced that they are, they are doing what probably I may not even be doing if mm. I were to be there now because they've been there for some time and um, it's, it's going well. I'm not, mm. I'm not bothered at all. They are rather helping me financially, you know, to support myself and then also to support the, the party. So that one, I think it's okay. Speaking of financial assistance, you said prior to your election that the Flagstaff House or the Jubilee House had supported your campaign, actually funded your campaign. Ben Efson, who is a poster respected all over Ghana, said that that could affect the chances of some members of parliament because you could be the hatchet man from the Flagstaff House to be used against that, some MPs. Now we're reading that some MPs are running unopposed. Is Ben Efson's prediction coming true? So your judgment. Uh, I, I, I don't judge. <laughs> no, I'm I, reserve, you. I reserve that to, to your judgment because if Ben Efson is saying that mm. or this say, that I would have been a hatchet man from the Jubilee House. Mm. And right now, we are having some of the MPs mm. who you said from the beginning of this you know, conversation mm -hmm. that they you know, came up against me. Mm. And now some of those people are going on a post. Then Ben Nepsin cannot be right. Mm. Cannot be right. For me, uh, I did not see that the Jubilee House supported my campaign. This is one thing that I've mm. uh, corrected over the, 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 the period. I never said so. If you have the listening, you can play it, but you will see. Uh, basically, uh, what I said is that, right. see, we are in government, and so therefore, wherever mm. MPP member is that I know, uh, if you are going for elections, you go around everybody, you look for assistance. So in the Jubilee House also, we have a lot of MPP people there. <laughs> Mm. Okay, the, the, the president, His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufo, right. is a product of the party. Right. He's there on the ticket of the party. Mm. He's a father to all of us. Okay. So if I'm going to contest, just like all others, mm. I will go to him and ask him to support. Mm. People also come right now as I sit here. I am a chairman of the party. Mm -hmm. Yet some of these aspirants still come to me for support. That's how we what do it. What kind of support we do they come to you and, for? You what, know, what kind of support do they come to you for? No, you, you need resources. Okay. Some people who come to you, if you have money, you support them. Mm -hmm. If you have any other material that will be needed for uh, these exercises, you give them. Is it your, you know? view, is this your view that our politics has been commoditized? Those who have money gets to win power. Those who it, don't it, it, it lose is, power. It is, is it that is, true? It is, it is not like that at all. For example, in the very example, in the very uh, uh, analysis you gave from mm. the very beginning, uh, when I was contesting, mm. okay, you said it, and it is true to a large extent, mm. that uh, some of these MPs and other senior members mm. of the party came up openly to say that they were not supporting right. me. Okay. Granted, and you say so. you are forgiving and I still, them. And I, and, and I still went through and mm. won the elections. So it's not so much about, you know, the resources at your disposal. Mm. It's, 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 it's a mixture of, you know, so many uh, factors. Your message, your personality, your experience, uh, how you are known mm. in the party, the way you conduct yourself, mm. um, especially the way you conduct yourself. Because a lot of people lose elections as a result of their followers okay. attacking their mm. opponents mm. and all. For me, you can't do that. 
Why can't I, they do that? No, 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 no. I didn't allow my followers to do that. Okay. And I, I, I maintained that discipline throughout. I believe uh, the way I was able to keep my composure mm -hmm. and maintain my cool in the face of all those provocations and all mm -hmm. did help me. Other regions have had people slaughtering sheep in rivers, making libation, closing party offices. I'm yet to hear that in the greater Accra region. Do you have some juju that's uh, keeping people from doing that? What, what's your magic? Well, to God be all the glory. I think God has been good uh, to us, uh, greater Accra. Uh, for once, we've known peace uh, in this process. And mm. so far, everything has gone quite well. Mm. Um, the situation where we have seen people calling themselves uh, MPP followers or mm. sympathizers or members, okay, going to that extent of, you know, raining curses on the party mm. for reasons that uh, they are wishes, you know, didn't go through mm. for one reason or the other. That, that, that behavior is alien to our culture. That's uncharacteristic. Is it regrettable? Of, uh, 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 MPP. Oh, yes. The, 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 the party stand opposed to to, 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 to that behavior. And I, 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 mm. I think that mm. um, if they don't get themselves out mm. themselves as we speak now, with time, you see that the delegates, mm. should any of them come tomorrow say he's contesting for any position, mm. you will see MPP, it, but you it, see that it, they will be it taken It does off. appear that this is a recurring phenomenon. Each time there's, a pr there's primaries, people think that they will be unfairly disenfranchised, they will be pushed aside, their hands will be twisted. What's the root cause of this? It does appear that it, it keeps coming up. Well, it's not so much uh, a character within MPP, honestly. Um, you have situations where people will also disagree with the process, and so uh, they will protest mm. via whatever means they deem appropriate. But to this extent, what we are seeing now, that's why I said earlier, uh, that that culture mm. is uncharacteristic of the new patriotic mm. party. That's alien to us. And I, 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 I think that the better reason okay. come up and apologize so that whatever there is, mm. we'll be able to correct it and then uh, we move on. But this is something that happens mm. within the body politics. We've okay. seen it. Mm. Uh, opponents also, you know, get themselves into a situation where these things happen mm. and all. But we are saying that, that is, what is not good is not good. Okay. Let's go to December 2019, where uh, Jin Jed, Divine Agohoma, at the uh, MPP's own conference, called out for every party member to come around the table, rally around the flag, and win for 2020. Look at him. Rumors. It's a Kita. We must stop spreading false rumors about our people in office. This is self-destructive to the party. So we try to take the money here. This must not go into 2020. Revenge. Pay back time. It can never be pay back time. We cannot waste precious time and energy on revenge. This MP did that to me. So I must repay him now. Ask yourself, whose interest are you serving? Is it in the interest of the party? How does the political misfortune of your incumbent MP help you personally? Well, that's a shorter version. The bigger pe pe version was when he said we must stop a Didi Jam, person Kuminya, Kokonsa, grumbling, pain, spitefulness and all of that. What did you mean by that? <laughs> I mean just that. I mean, I mean we are one family. Mm. Um, if it is not working for you today, it will work, it could work for you tomorrow. Mm. And so therefore, uh, it was a call mm. on everybody to come on board for us to unite mm. our front and prosecute. Were uh, some people eating more than others? Uh, to, to be able to, you know, push. Were some people uh, eating more than others? Election 2020. Were some people um, eating more I than was, others? I was, I was trying also to tell um, those who are fortunate to be in uh, positions mm. of honor and privilege. Uh, to remember that where some people are, eating more than others, are, Mr. Chairman. We are, we are, we are, we are one people. We Mr. are one Mr. Family. Chairman. Where some people eating more than others? No, I, I wasn't saying so. I mm. was only a did did means uh, that. Yes, uh, if I say a did I didn't say that who the who the will be. I was saying that we should keep in mind okay. that um, if you are if you are having it 
and I see you having it and I'm mm. not having it, mm. naturally, <laughs> you, you will not get the best of me. So mm. basically, that's what I was saying. I was not saying that uh, somebody will be a, a, a DD, mm. a Joe will be. Mm. Eh? Is my tree okay? <laughs> 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 so, so people were not eating more than, more than others. Uh, you talked about Pesen uh, Kuminya. You talk about all, all those are traits of corruption. Are you alleging that there's corruption, especially for people who had the privilege to hold power on behalf of the party? No, 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 no. What, I, I, was, I want to understand I was, what you were saying. I was saying, no, you just, you just, you just played it. Right. Uh -huh. And, and reference exactly what I said. Mm. I was trying to throw caution. Okay. First of all, I started by talking to the party generally, mm. okay, those who are not in mm. position, those who are not in government positions currently, that mm. look... <laughs> you can't say that, oh, this MP did this mm. to me, so I'm going to do this mm. to him. Mm. <laughs> Forget about that. Come on board. Mm. Let's go together. All right? Because you gain nothing. Okay? okay? Your misfortune as a party person in government doesn't in your to my uh, uh, blessing in any way. Mm. So we must understand that we are one family. <laughs> we need to push the agenda together. Has, so has having, anything having, changed since having, you said that? Having, having spoken mm. to the party mm. people, there was a the need for me to also speak to those who are in government, okay? Mm. That remember that these are, you know, people okay. who are also looking at So you at are throwing you. caution. Has exactly. anything to changed both, to both, since you to advised both them in 2019? Has anything changed? Oh, yes. I, 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 as far as... I was not saying that something was happening for which reason. I was just throwing caution to okay. everybody. Remember, that was a welcoming statement. Okay, right. uh, you didn't we had get a criticized for that. Council. We had a. You didn't get criticized for that. No, no, no. Nobody no, no, called no. you. Oh, to some, say, some, I some friends. Answer. Some some friends were rather very happy with what I said, and okay. they were commending me for 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 that. Um, you know, big ways in the party. Okay, called to say, look, guy. Uh, you've done well. Mm. Some even demanded for the tape. I don't know you have it. We, now that we play it here, I'll be you glad come for it. You. We, we got to go. The NDC says you scored 14 percent. President says 72 percent. Dr. Baumia in February says 78 percent. The NDC says you have failed 14 percent. One word for the NDC. <laughs> they should be advised to stay focused because as it is, we are clearing the mess they created. Mm. Okay. And we are going ahead to fulfill the promises that we made. And so the least we expect them to do is to stay focused on whatever they are doing. Okay? Because as we speak now, I'm asking this question. Nobody has been able to answer what me. question? Why well, they've elected their flag bearer mm. for I mean, about a year now. They've not been able to come up with uh, they are running bait. Mm. This is an issue that is of concern to everybody. But technically, is it, is, it, is it that they are not able to, you know, <laughs> decide among themselves? You don't have a flag bearer. Decide do you? among technically, themselves. Technically, you don't have a flag bearer. We have a flag bearer. It's we not open been nomination. We, yes, that person will be acclaimed. We open nomination. One person pick form, and so therefore we know as we sit here, mm. and you know also that we have a flag bearer. He has already made a pronouncement that he's going to go again with his running mate. Okay. So that is sorted. Okay. So we are asking uh -huh, all this while, who are they coming with? They should let us know. Okay. Why is it that everybody is running away from that? You see, Kofi Bra, not Kofi Johnny. You see, Kofi Bra, then Kofi Johnny. He tells us, oh, it's not well with them. So for me, as far as I'm concerned, I think they should spend their energies okay. thinking of we, how we, they we, are we going got to, to go. Their Thank you. Up to now, they should be able to tell us one single thing that they are coming to do, apart from Thank you. just criticizing Thank you. and criticizing Thank you. Everything. Let me give you 10 seconds. That's your camera. We're going for the primaries on Saturday. What do you say to the delegates? I would want to use this opportunity to uh, say uh, congratulations to all the aspirants who've uh, made it through NEC, uh, especially in Great Accra. Mm -hmm. I want to wish them the best of luck. I speak to their followers mm. to maintain the uh, decorum mm. uh, activities, the way they've handled themselves and mm. all mm. they should do with decorum. We are one family. Uh, Great Accra as a region by the grace of God. Okay. We've come so far and we are looking Thank clean. You. They should continue for us to end that way. Good luck to everybody. Thank you. That's the regional chairman of the New Patriotic Party for the Greater Accra region, Divine O2 uh, Go home there. Uh, you heard him. Make your own judgment. See you on Thursday. Be good.